So now we're returning our attention back to the prayer from our Lord Jesus. And he is now talking, he's praying for his disciples that, that, that they would be kept for God. That they would not be taken out of the world. This world, it's hard. It's disgusting, as we mentioned this morning. So why would he pray that we not be taken out of the world? We want to be out of this world. We want to be with God. Well, let's stop and think about that for a minute. Why is this world hard? It's training ground. Because of sin, we cannot up and leave and be with God right now. The hardship of this world is what distinguishes who is with God and who is not. It brings out what is truly within you. It is what transforms us into being like God. So this is actually a mercy. We are still in this world. It is apparent. This is apparent because we are not departed from it yet. There are still things of the flesh that we have to cast off before we can be with him. So if anyone just left, no one would be with God because the change of becoming like him would be incomplete. So instead, Jesus prays that we would be kept from evil while we are in the world. God wants us to be with him. Christ wants to gather a people for himself, to work and to dwell together with him in glory. So he prays to keep them from evil. Let them not be overcome by the wickedness of this world. We in Christ are readily equipped to cast off temptation. Ephesians 6.11, put the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And John 14.26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And Romans 5.1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. There are much many more things throughout Scripture, but you see that the tools that we are given to be Amen. stayed in Christ. But even then, it is God who must intervene in this. He is the one who has given you these tools. He gives you the strength to resist temptation. And the light shown in you of him is what makes the wicked flee away. And that is why Jesus prays this praise this and we should too pray for one another that we would be kept from evil that we would because we do not we are not willing that any should perish yeah. but that all should come to repentance yeah. so in this also seeing that Jesus the son of God is the one who is praying this for his people shows us how urgent how needful how real this is the danger of being overcome by evil mm -hmm. but also that God is able to keep you from it yeah. Amen. so look to him he is bringing all things out to good. For yet a little while we are in this world. But Jesus said in John 16, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen.